you guys I'm so excited to announce something really cool that the balance team and myself are doing we are doing a six-week series called elevate you and we're gearing it towards the first ever balance athletica pop-up shop which we're beyond excited about like we started planning this months ago and we've all just been giddy about it like we we're just super pumped about it but we also wanted to have like a set goal leading up to the olympia the balance team and myself have been so busy uh you guys can probably relate but it's just been so busy with everything we have going on on a daily basis that sometimes we're so exhausted and so tired the last thing we want to think about is ourselves so sometimes we don't make the best food choices we don't get enough sleep we don't manage our stress well we don't get into these healthy routines that benefit us mentally and physically so like you guys can probably relate having an insanely busy life the first thing that falls to the wayside is your own health your mental health your physical health your spiritual health and your emotional health so i have had it i have had anxiety so so bad the past few months that i literally have panic attacks when i even go on an airplane so this past week i've really evaluated my life and i've taking a second to take a step back from everything that I'm doing because I feel like I have to do 50 things in order to be successful when really I just need to focus on the core main things that are making me happy, successful, and just enjoying life in general. I need to focus on those things rather than do 50 things and make myself stressed out and anxiety. So I've just taken a step back from everything the past week or two and I've really my anxiety has gone down literally tenfold. I feel so much happier, I feel healthier. I feel like I have a more clear mind. Leading into this series, I'm gonna take it a step further. This feeling of feeling so much happier and having so much less anxiety, I know that I can take it a step further. So these next six weeks, we are taking you along our journey to the best selves that we can be. It's always great to have goals, and I personally haven't had a physical goal, mental goal, spiritual goal in quite a long time. Sometimes I'm so focused on the business aspect of things that I just float along in terms of my mental health, in terms of my physical health. And yes, I do work out really hard, but physical health is so much more than that. It's stretching, it's going on a walk at lunchtime when you're feeling stressed out. It's so much more than just working out and I know how I feel when I feel my best self and right now personally I haven't been taking that great of care of everything that I can I know that I have the capacity and I'm going to make time to put myself first in areas that I have not been doing so so the balance team and myself are taking these next six weeks to freaking kill it and we are so excited we are taking everything to the next level emotionally spiritually physically and mentally everything that we can do we want to bring our best selves so we are just so excited for you guys to follow along and we will even be bringing you guys along with us so if you guys want to participate please please do we're going to be posting stuff on our stories the balance story our own personal stories we'll be vlogging the entire series which i quite personally missed doing a series with you guys i sent an email to the balance team today solidifying everything we're going to be doing for this series now let me back up a second and tell you guys what exactly vegas is so balance athletica is doing our very first pop-up shop in vegas during the olympia it's going to be on saturday september 14th it's going to be an all-day event you guys, it's completely free. All of our leaders, members, some of our influencers will be there. It's gonna be an amazing time. We'll have dressing rooms to try on the collection that will launch a few weeks after that. So you'll be the first one to see that collection. You'll be able to try it on, see how it fits, feels, everything. So we'll have a brand new collection there. We'll have everyone there to talk with you guys. You can meet everyone, you can meet the whole team. It's gonna be an incredible experience and I really hope to see you guys there. So that's what I'm talking about when I talk about the Vegas pop-up shop. It is our first pop-up shop event. And you know, if you're hesitant on going, you can even make a vacation out of it. 
go on Friday night, take Saturday, do the pop-up, go on a great fun party night with your friends or your significant other, I don't know, on Saturday night. Sunday, you can lay by the pool, make a vacation out of it. So I really hope that you guys come. I hope to see you there. And let's get into the details of Elevate You. When busy, it is easy to put our own mental, physical, and spiritual health on the back burner. Food choices are thoughtless, morning routines are rushed, and sometimes the last thing we want to do is exercise. What this series is about is challenging ourselves to bring that health back into our lives for a six week time span, which can ultimately lead to a complete lifestyle change. I know you are going to feel like an entirely new human. The start date is August 5th. Number one, one hour of movement. Now this can be anything that makes you happy. If you guys don't like lifting weights, don't do it. Maybe do Pilates. If you guys don't like yoga, maybe do lifting weights. Do something that you enjoy. It can be going on a walk, it can be Pilates, yoga, lifting weight, a hit session, an EMOM, anything you would like. And if it's only a 30 minute workout, later in the day, do a 30 minute walk. So as long as you hit that one hour of movement, you are golden. That one hour of movement a day is literally going to change your life. Whether you have to take 10 minutes walk break during lunch and then 10 minutes when you get back home during the evening after dinner, it's really, really going to help you clear your mind. It's going to help you feel good. Your endorphins are gonna get flowing and you're going to feel just really uplifted after this one hour of movement. So it doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's one hour every day, it's going to literally change your life. So that's number one. Number two is drink one gallon of water. This is pretty self-explanatory, but I think that it scares a lot of people when I say this. When I used to online coach, I would say drink a gallon of water every day and everyone would take a step back and freak out. I know it sounds like a lot of water at first and that's okay if you have to lead up to it, but the goal is to drink one gallon of water every day. If you think about it, when your body is hydrated, it's going to perform optimally. You're going to have mental clarity, your organs are gonna function well, your digestion's gonna function well, everything is going to be 100% so if you give your body the hydration it needs it's going to perform an easy way to do this is to grab the liter um, jugs either at Walmart or Target or the grocery store even breaking it up in liter portions will make it a lot easier to hit that goal so adherence to your morning routine I feel like I started having a morning routine in college and it wasn't very productive you know I would wake up earlier than anyone in the house or anyone in my apartment, I would uh, go onto Pinterest, make my breakfast, and kind of just get inspired for the day. And, and Pinterest did that for me. Nowadays, it's waking up, making my meal, taking the girls out, and sitting down and reading my Bible. I'm still trying to get through the Bible. Um, I'm almost there, but I'm still trying to get through it. So right now, reading the Bible and just reading a few pages a day in the morning really helps me clear my mind, gets me ready for the day. So whatever that morning routine is, whether it is drink a glass of water, head on a walk, whether that is uh, have your pre-workout meal, go uh, work out, whatever that is, try and stick with it and make sure it is benefiting you in some way. Like some people really like to start their morning slow. Some like to start it quick, quick, quick because that's all they can do in the morning is work out and that's completely fine. Just make sure that you adhere to it and if you feel like you don't have enough time to start a productive morning routine, whether that be journaling or whatever, wake up 30 minutes before you're used to waking up, which can suck, so maybe start in five minute increments, and then your body will just get used to waking up at that time. Number four is diet goals. This is gonna be different for everyone, and probably a huge portion of this is diet, because what you put in your body is going to make you feel energized or not. It's going to make you feel your best or it's not. So your diet is a huge, huge part of this and everyone's gonna be different. Like I know Steve, he's doing this. He is focusing on increasing his food. Um, Anthony's focus focusing on decreasing his food. Um, I'm focusing on nutrient dense for the most part and just 
focusing on foods that help me feel more energized. So I'm really gonna focus on a lot of leafy greens, adding more vegetables into my diet, um, just stuff like that that I know make me feel good. Number five is 10 minutes of stretching before bed. This is very simple. Uh, Steve has done this the past month and he said his life has completely changed. Um, he's sleeping better, he moves better, so I'm gonna start picking that up as well. So that's gonna be a goal every day. The last one is seven to eight hours of sleep. I'm personally very good at that. I like my sleep. If I don't get enough sleep, I can feel it. I know that I'm not gonna perform well that day. But for someone like Steve, he stays up super, super late till like 2 a.m. working on balance that he misses out on a crucial part of his progress, mentally, physically, emotionally, all of that. So every single day, getting seven to eight hours of sleep. Yeah, it's just gonna be great. That's it. Um, I'm going to have a videographer be a part of this so they will see my life at a different point of view rather than me just holding the camera all the time, which I think will be really interesting and cool, something very different. I've never done that before, so I'm really excited to show you guys my life. I know that I have Tori film sometimes and I'm a lot more myself when I can interact with people around me. So I think that it'll be very interesting and then Chloe's going to do that as well. Uh, and then I also think Ari is going to be vlogging. So I think us through three will be vlogging and then the rest of the team will probably just document their progress on how they're doing through their own social medias and then I'll be updating uh, how they're doing on my vlogs too. I hope you guys participate. It's only six weeks, like it's so, so quick. We debated doing eight weeks, but we think six weeks will be a great time span to really just hone in and go. It's not too long, it's not too short. It's the perfect amount of time. You can do anything in six weeks. So let's just buckle down, get this done, change our lives in every single way. Of course, we're gonna have some balance throughout it all. This is episode one, hope you guys liked it twice a week vlogs maybe three times a week i might even do daily vlogs i don't even know i don't know i don't know what it's gonna lead to be sure to like this video subscribe down below so you don't miss a single series video we hope to see you guys in vegas and let's do this thing three two one hi what's up Day uno. That is a lot of my butt. Okay. Here we go.